Graduate students fear that their interests, as well as many others, will be at risk because of the new proposed tax bill from Congress. These students who offer their services to their university, usually in the form of instructing undergraduate students, receive tuition waivers. The money saved by these waivers is never seen by the students and is not taxed either, provided that they maintain their teaching or that they conduct research. Uh, I'm furious. Uh, I may not show with my you know, cheerful demeanor, uh, but I'm, I mean, I'm outraged. Estimates are that this tax bill is going to increase our deficit by one and a half trillion dollars. To forgive everyone's student loan debt in America right now would cost one trillion dollars. So the federal government, instead of passing this GOP tax bill, could forgive everyone's student loans and still have money left over um, to spend on other things. The new proposed bill would make these waivers taxable, which would make it extremely difficult for many graduate students economically. Here at the University of Colorado Boulder, some graduate students organized a walkout in protest of the proposed bill. Scarier than the tax bill for students is the PROSPER Act. That is directly affecting the financial aid community. The tax bill more or less affects our students, but it affects them after they leave the university. So in the disbursement of all of our aid, the tax bill doesn't affect us as much as the next bill. The next bill directly affects the amount of aid we can give and the type of aid we can give. So stay tuned for the next piece of legislation. Many on the CU campus and across the country fear that fewer students will apply for master's and doctoral programs given the decrease in financial help. While some Republican leaders are trying to get the House to back down from the tuition tax bill, nothing is for certain as of right now. This is Hannah Stewart reporting for Journalism 2001. Thank you.